All right, brush monkeys, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video uh, like I normally do with the asset drop boxes. I got my new asset drop box uh, for August 2019. And um, I'm really excited about this box because this is the first box I've gotten that I actually recognize all the brands out of it. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, and, and they're all stuff I've wanted to try for a little while now. So as you can see, I've already started kind of playing around with it a little bit and uh, wanted to see how some of this stuff works. But what I got was three paints from uh, Pro Acryl, M Pro Acryl. Uh, I got uh, dark gray blue, I got blue, and I got faded ultramarine. And I've heard a lot of good things about these paints. I wanted to try them for a while. The cool thing about these paints is they not only come in a dropper bottle already, but the top of it is kind of like a, a glue container where you you just kind of unscrew the lid there and then you drop the paint out and then you can screw it back on. Um, there's no separate lid like there is for the for my regular dropper bottles. Um, and so that's one less thing to drop and have roll under my workbench while I'm trying to get stuff done. So that that's really a cool feat cool little feature um, the test tile that came with these guys to try out was this um, sci-fi helmet um, they intended in the guide for it to be painted blue so it's very clearly a, uh, like an ultramarines helmet <laughs> there's the instructions for it but uh, the cool thing about these test tiles is this month these tiles are also intended to build on the previous months uh, asset drop boxes so in addition to the blues and the the shade washes which I'll get to in a minute um, the helmets also intended to be colored in with uh, like some of these pipes and conduits and whatnot are supposed to be colored in with the uh, the metal pens that we got last month so that's kind of cool and uh, so yeah as you can see I've already started uh, I put down an air coat base of the dark gray blue and then did a little uh, zenithal highlight there of the blue and then I'm gonna go through and do some highlights of the uh, faded ultramarine uh, in a few minutes but as you can see they airbrushed on really smooth I didn't need to thin them out this is this is straight out of the airbrush it looks like this really fantastic stuff um, so yeah I'm pretty happy with that uh, along with that there was a there's two uh, war colors washes which again i've heard great things about war colors i've wanted to try them for a while the blue wash unfortunately the war colors bottles come with this little 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 i don't know if you can see that or not this little narrow bit here um this little tube instead of like a tapered uh stopper that you normally see on dropper bottles and so when i was trying to get that get that top off so I could put a an agitator ball you can hear that in there it's trying to get an agitator ball in it and that broke off so I ended up having to put it in just a regular dropper bottle and then put the um, the marine shade label on it so this is uh, this is actually the war colors blue and this is to be the shade intended for this uh, sci-fi helmet and so I'm gonna try that out in a little bit and then the other test tile that came was this little wooden piece woods piece and you can see I started painting the bark on it there's a little tree stump and some boards here and this is for the next two colors that I'm I'm awesomely excited about I love these things these are coat to arms paints I got wood brown and unbleached wool and uh, coat to arms for those of you that may or may not remember some of my previous videos I've ranted and raved about how fantastic the Citadel paints were back in the day um, Coat to Arms was the company that made Citadel's paints back in the day. Back when they came out with the Creature paint set and the Monster paint set and the Expert paint set and the uh, just the Citadel color paint set. Those, those sets were all made by the company that does Coat to Arms paints. And they came in, in these big pots. Some of you may remember these. Beautiful big pots. Love these things. These decant into these dropper bottles so easily and so cleanly. I love them. Um, the labels were a little bit of a pain to peel off but you know can't have everything but I got them on and I you know these are the paints the coat to arms paints back in the day back when they were Citadel colors um, 
went on so smoothly and so beautifully and these paints are the ones that lasted me 30 years that I'm still using today um, when I bought them back in the early 90s and so I was really looking forward to trying these out and and seeing how they go on and giving them a shot on here and so I, I was so excited about this asset Dropbox and I gotta say just having tried out the wood brown I'm gonna put a little more on my palette here um, they go on really smooth they handle really beautifully um, you do need a couple of thin coats to go on there but you know that's kind of par for the course with any paint nowadays but it's a nice rich color it covers really nicely I'm just covering some of those paints like I said I'm doing two thin coats and then the unbleached wool will go on the inside of the stump and on the boards and this tile again like I said the previous one was intended to build on techniques you learned in the previous asset drop boxes so the weathering powders and the uh, the fixer that I got a couple of months ago um, those will be used on this base as well to kind of provide some grass cover or some little moss on the tree stump and that kind of thing um, I'm gonna do this video a little differently than I did the past videos in the past I've done uh, the asset drop unboxing video and then I did um, like a week later I did a follow-up video and I've got a lot of stuff going on lately um, life is kind of I won't say really starting to intrude but um, for those of you that don't know I work out at the Renaissance Festival every year as well uh, the Kansas City Renaissance Festival and that season is coming up so we're gearing up to get ready for that um, this is kind of why I've been by the time you watch well I'm gonna post this in a few minutes um, I was gonna say by the time you watch this it'll be way over but no it's going up here today anyway um, with the Renfest coming up this is kind of why I try to build up a uh, stock of videos so that I've got some leeway when stuff like this happens and I don't really have time to sit here and shoot videos all the time but um, the other reason for doing this differently is that uh, y'all are kind of getting the point of the asset drop boxes you know it, it comes with paints and washes and stuff from different manufacturers and at this point I'm kind of like you know if you want to find out what comes in the box go get a box you know I've I wouldn't say I've advertised them enough but uh, they really are really fantastic uh, subscription boxes and I wholeheartedly recommend you go pick them up and uh, for those of you that do eventually sign up for the asset drop boxes I don't want to spoil the surprise for you I get really excited about the stuff that comes in them but at the same time I don't want to part part of the fun of getting these things is opening them up and finding out what I got and finding out what came with this month and, and what kind of new techniques I'm going to learn from this stuff so I don't want to spoil that for you guys and I will wholeheartedly ask you to go check out asset drop I'll put a link in the video description and uh, and get a subscription box of your own these things are fantastic um, but yeah I'm so from here on out this is probably how I'm going to be doing these asset drop videos if I do them um, if I get something particularly cool in the box like I did this month um, I'll do a short video so and hey look what I got kind of thing and play with it a little bit but yeah for the most part go go subscribe get them yourself check them out and uh and yeah i'll see you guys later <laughs> so i'm gonna go back to painting these guys um as you can see the the coat to arms paints go on pretty smooth but they're going to need a couple of layers just like the other ones i like that i like those there's not a whole lot of you don't need to thin them a lot like you do most other paints they come pretty well pre-thinned so they'll go on pretty smooth right out of the pot i don't know why my okay wet palette wasn't cooperating with me there sorry so yeah uh that's the august asset drop box um as usual every order goes back to the 
gives money back to the Blue Marine Foundation, which uh, helps to clean up the oceans. I think it's a very important uh, charity and definitely worth checking out. It's one of the great things I love about Asset Drop is that uh, purchasing it does give back to a worthy cause. So go check them out and uh, I will see you guys later. All right. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like. If you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted, click subscribe. Comment below on what you want to see on future videos. Visit our Patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do. You can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.